Well, hello from Mobile, Alabama. We are overjoyed at what God is doing right here at the Homestead and through Damon Thompson Ministries. And we have something very exciting that's coming up for leaders all over. We are overjoyed that God has given us some strategy. And I want Apostle to share his heart with you about the things that are coming up that we want you to be a part of. We are excited about this new venture. And so Apostle, just share your heart with Thank us and, and let us know what God is telling you. I will. Thank you, Bren. Well, I'm just going to read something. I, I, I think I've read this a couple of times in services, mm -hmm. but I just want to read through it. And then I'm going to just highlight a couple of things uh, from here. So I wrote this maybe a week or 10 days ago, a phrase that I have been hearing repeatedly since being seated here in this apostolic seat at the homestead is this phrase, it's time to expand the family tree. What I do not believe leaders need is another organization or network, or certainly not an organizational yes, network, but they need integration into family. We are beginning to inherit the detailed blueprints of what this expansion of the family tree is to look like in the days to come. And my heart is so stirred. As I've studied the life of Christ as the ultimate model of what it means to be a spiritual father in the earth, I'm witnessing a pattern beginning to be revealed in my heart. Although we know that Jesus obviously had the 12 disciples, that 11 of whom would become his apostles, we also have the witness of 70 others that would have been a part of the same family tree. And Jesus would have been actively and intimately pouring his heart into that group as well. One of the first aspects of this expansion will be to have three gatherings in this coming year, that being 2023, where we expand our Wilderness Society gatherings from just one night and one service to a two-day gathering with three services as well as, as well as sharing a meal together in order to facilitate Abba's heart in expanding this family tree. One of the most consistent emails that comes across my desk is leaders desiring to be connected as spiritual sons. I have had great empathy over the years for these men and women who genuinely long for a deeper connection to kingdom family. However, in spite of the fact that many over the years have encouraged me to make this available, it wasn't until we made the move to Mobile yeah. that I felt released to move forward with this assignment. I feel the next part for our family is not just to encourage people to exit the system, but more importantly than that, it is to inherit the revelation of the kingdom family that they're ultimately designed to be joined to. Yes, sir. I feel that the strategy of hosting these longer gatherings for leaders to connect is the first step in the expansion of the family tree. My heart is to create a means of connection for those that desire to be more closely joined, and we will be establishing a point of contact for you to be able to reach out to our team of leaders as well as reach out to me personally. I believe Abba will unfold additional revelation regarding this expansion of the family tree as we move forward into this incredible honor, and it really is an honor, yes. of seeing more leaders get joined to this apostolic lineage. In my heart, I can say that this feels like one of the single most important things that Abba has ever honored us with the privilege of being a part of, and I'm extremely humbled to be able to participate in this plan. There will be a more, uh, this is the more detailed video announcement. That's right, so that's right. This that's is the right. more detailed that's video right. announcement. And, and, and what I want to say in this, and this, is, uh, this has been so important to me in my heart as I've kind of navigated through this. Yeah. Over the years, I've, uh, I've known that Yahweh has given us a grace to call people out of religion, yeah. to call people out of religious systems, yes. and specifically to call leaders out of religious systems. However, I came to the point, Bren, where I said, it's not enough for me to tell you what you should get away from. Come on. It's got to become us giving you a guide as yes. to how to get connected. And that doesn't have to be here. Sure. It doesn't have to be with us. But there is uh, something uh, dangerous about independence. Yes. About people not operating, not just with accountability, but also with family and yes. connection and yes. relationships. Yes. And so, you know, how do you do that and, and, and me not be on the phone 40 hours a week? That's right. Uh, you know, is, is a real right. question. Yes. And so this has become an opportunity for us to meet people, to engage with people, to allow people to get joined and connected yes. and let those relationships grow. Yes. And I was thinking this morning, knowing we would do this video, I was thinking about the relationships I have with the dozen or so churches that we oversee around mm -hmm. the country and, and one up into Canada. And as I begin to think about that, I begin to think about this. My relationship is not with 
primarily any of those churches. That's right. My relationship is primarily with that senior leader. That's right. His wife, yes. his children, and then uh, over time, organically, those relationships have evolved. Sure. And now like, every church that I oversee, I can think of their leadership team and their families and how that's expanded. It's really a beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. And I think coming back here to Mobile, I know coming back here to Mobile yeah. was a real witness that this apostolic lineage was important. Yeah. You know, we never have, a, hardly ever have a kingdom, uh, a wilderness society where we don't read the kingdom man. That's right. Oh, Apostle Ball making that that's declaration right. of what a kingdom man is. And so to be here in a house where my spiritual father has been for over 30 years, yes. sent out from Apostle Ball, I think it's just a huge opportunity for us to swing wide those gates yeah. and to say to people, we want you to be a part of this. It's going to be uh, awesome. Yeah. We want people to be able to feel like wherever they are in the country, we're behind them. Yes. We got their back. We're, yes. we're, we're, we're believing for them. We're yes. praying over them. We're walking yes. in relationship and have such amazing mature sons like yourself and so many others around the country that can help to facilitate sure. this. And uh, I just want those gatherings, this upcoming one being January 30th, 31st. That's right. And then the 1st of February. Right. And us spending those three meetings together, sharing a meal together to be a time of fellowship and, yeah. and getting to know one another and just let this expansion of the family tree evolve organically. Yes. I don't want it to become organizational. Sure. I don't, when I, I don't want another denomination sure. and not call it a denomination. Sure. I really want to see a, a family tree yeah. expand. Yeah. That's what's on my I love it. Well, listen, if this is something that you feel you're called to as a leader, your wife, your family, your leadership team at your church, we want to invite you to come. Join us right here in Mobile, January 31st, February 1st. Apostle mentioned it, uh, services, even maybe a time for Q&A possibly, yeah, yeah. Uh, a meal together, and uh, just time to fellowship together. And we want you to be a part of it. As Apostle said, we believe it's time to expand the family tree yes. here in Mobile. And we're calling this Wilderness Society Under the Oaks. And so if you want to register, there'll be a link below in the description of this video, wherever you're seeing this. You can also go to damonthompsonministries.net and you can register that way. And we're just excited, Apostle, and yeah. we're ready to and meet these chill new people. And we'll chill out. We'll do Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday. Yes. We'll chill out on Thursday and rest. And That's then we'll right. come back Friday, Saturday for our reunion yeah. weekend gathering in February. So That's you right. can come bring your team and, and make a whole uh, several day trip yes. out of it. Yes. Yeah. So listen, we love you. We're grateful. Thank you for joining us for this small little video, and we hope to see you this ending of this January.